In this video, I'm going to show you step by step on how to install the Sketchucation plugins in SketchUp. Let's go. So the first step is to head to sketchucation.com. You will find the link in the description and then click on sign up here or register here to sign up on the website. You will need to sign up to download and install the plugins. So let's click on this. Now they have three paid plans that you can opt for where you will get access to unlimited downloads and more. In our case, we're going to sign up for free. So let's click on sign up here. Now you'll need to add in all your details and then click on register. In my case, I'm already a member on Sketchucation. So I'm going to click on login. I'm going to add in my details and click on login. All right, perfect. So once you've logged in, you can see that we can head to the plugin store here and then start downloading plugins. Now, the first plugin that you need to download is called the extension store. So we can search for it here. Let's search for extension. So this is the plugin that you would need to download first. So let's click on download here. You'll also find the link in this description in case you do not find the plugin. All right, perfect. So it downloads a .rbc file, which we need to install into SketchUp. So let's open SketchUp. Now let's go to extensions, extension manager. Click on install extension. Select the .rbc file and click on open. So it's installed into SketchUp. Now, if you don't see it, you can go to view toolbars. And if you scroll down, you will notice the extension store plugin. So make sure to switch that on close and this is our plugin from which we can install sketchucation plugins so it has the extension store and extension plugins manager option so let's open extension store here so you can see these are the various plugins that sketchucation has to offer we can also search for plugins at the bottom here we have the option to search so let's click on search there's a very useful plugin that a lot of people use called Slicer. So let's search for Slicer and click on search here. So this is a Slicer plugin created by the developer TIG. Now for more info, you can click on more info here. But in our case, we need to install the plugin. So let's click on install. Also, you can donate to the developer. And so you can see we have a donate option here as well, just in case you find the plugin useful. So let's click on install here. And then we have two options. You can select either of these options. It doesn't matter. So let's select choose auto install folder. And then let's click on yes to install the extension. So you can see the plugin has been installed. Press OK. And close the extension store. Now let's go to view toolbars. And let's see if the plugin has been installed. Yeah, so the plugin has been installed. Let's activate it and let's open it. So it seems to be working. Similarly, you can open extension store and go ahead and install other plugins. But there are two main plugins that you would need to install to make some of these plugins work. You will find the link in the description. So the first plugin is called Libfredo. Six. So this is a plugin library which is used by most of the Sketchucation extensions. So let's click on download here or you can also search for the plugin in the Sketchucation store. So let's click on here. Let's click on search and then search for Libfredo. So we have the Libfredo 6 plugin. Now this is a library built by the Fredo 6 developer. So you will need to use this for his plugins, the Fredo 6 plugins like the joint push pull tool and more. So let's click on install or to install folder and click on yes. So Libfredo 6 plugin library has been installed. You can also check the extensions by going to the extension plugins manager from Sketchucation and you can notice that we've installed the Libfredo plugin. There's another plugin library that I would recommend that you guys install. It's called the TT library. So it's this one here, the TomTom Tom library, which is for TomTom's plugins. So I'm going to click on download here. I'm going to manually download his plugin just to show you guys how to install that way as well. So let's go to extensions, extension manager, click on install extension, select TT library, and click on open. Just give SketchUp a bit for it to install the plugin. 
and yeah so dt library has been installed as well now let's install some useful plugins like the joint push pull tool so let's click on extension store here let's search for joint all right so we have the joint push pull tool interactive let's click on install and we've just installed the plugin so now if you select this option you can see that it starts to work some of these plugins are paid plugins as well and you would be able to pay for these plugins directly on the sketchication website Now I will share a list of plugins in the YouTube description for you guys to download. Its plugins are pretty useful in your SketchUp workflow. So I highly recommend that you go ahead and download these plugins. One of these plugins is Bezier Spline. So I'm going to go ahead and install this plugin as well. So sometimes you may not get the latest library in the extension store plugin. So you may have to download it separately from their website. So for example, you can see that Libfredo 6 version 7.6 or higher is required to run joint push pull tool. So I'm going to click on yes here. I'm going to click on download here. All right, it's done downloading and let's install that plugin. So let's go to extensions, extension manager, install extension, select that library and click on open. So let's activate the joint push pull tool plugin. So let's go to our toolbars here. Now sometimes if it doesn't show up, it may have been disabled. So let's go to extensions, extension manager. Let's enable Libfredo here. So let's click on apply changes. Make sure that all your plugins are enabled for them to show up as well. And now it should show up. So let's go to view toolbars. and if it still doesn't show up you may have to restart sketchup so i'm going to do that quickly let's restart sketchup and now you can see that the plugin shows up so to summarize the first step is to install the extension store plugin then you would need to install certain libraries like the libfredo 6 library where you can go ahead and click on download and install it directly into sketchup then make sure to install the tt library as well and then you can go ahead and install the other plugins for example joint push pull tool bezier spline slicer and more now if these plugins do not show up make sure to check the toolbars and if it doesn't show up here go to extensions extension manager and make sure th these plugins are enabled here as well sometimes you may also find that these plugins are in the disabled plugins list so for example if i add slicer to the disabled plugin list then the next time i start sketchup then the slicer plugin wouldn't load into sketchup so make sure none of these plugins are added to disabled as well and then finally if these plugins still do not show up just simply restart sketchup and it should work so i hope you found this video useful please do subscribe for more such videos and i'll see you guys in the next video cheers